Hey, YMCA family, my name is Josh Kurtz. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the pastor of Jordan Memorial United Methodist Church in Ramsour, and my family and I are members of the Y. We love the YMCA for the sports and for the social connection and also the physical connections that it brings and affords us. Wanted to start today just asking you a question, and that is this. What do you reach for first thing every morning when you wake up? Honestly, what do you reach for? Maybe it's the alarm to shut it off and to click the snooze button. Maybe it's the coffee maker. Maybe it's to tell the kid or the kids in your life to be quiet. I find many times the first thing I reach for when I wake up every morning is my phone. And when I look at my phone, I usually begin looking at emails and at social media accounts and at news accounts. And all of a sudden, my mind is in a different place than when I woke up. I want to invite you and myself, especially in this season, but really in every season for that matter, to begin our days in the Word so that we can actively engage the world that God loves. What would it look like if instead of scrolling through your social media feeds every single morning to start your day in the Word? To begin reading God's love story for you and for me and for all of creation so that we can go forward in faith to share the love of God with all we see. We're in an interesting season where all we see might just be ourselves or it might just be a couple of people that we're sheltered in place with. That's a real nice term than fighting in the same room with. <laughs> but that's where we are. And what does that look like? I invite you to, to read the word individually and collectively as a family of faith, as a person of faith, so that you can actively engage this world that God loves. In this season that we're in right now, the Psalms for me have been such a gift. I'm reminded of Psalm 121, which begins with these words, I lift my eyes to the hills where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. There are many hills, there are many daunting mountains in our way in this time, and yet our help comes from God. And in order for us to know what God is saying and what is going on, we have to know what God has already said and spoken to us. Read God's word. Let God's word wash over you and read you so that you can continue to go from strength to strength, even in this time that we are in. What story are you saturating yourselves in? There's this beautiful hymn that we sing in our church called Blessed Assurance. And there's these wonderful words that say, this is my story. This is my song praising my Savior all the day long. What if we claim that truth, to claim that this is our story, that this is our love song, and that we are called to praise God in every season of our lives, even and especially the most difficult ones. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to turn off social media. I'm not telling you to turn off the news. But I'm telling you that where we begin our days often determines how we finish our days. Let's begin in the Word so that we can go forward in faith to engage this world that God deeply loves and cares for. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for each person that is listening to this. May they know that you love them so deeply and that you care for them and that you are with us all in every season of life. Give us grace for the journey. May we draw closer to you, knowing that you are already drawing closer to us. We love you, and we lift this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. This is our story. 
This is our song, praising our Savior all the day long. May it be so. God bless you.